In 1990, the Center for Automotive Research was just being created. And uh, uh, at the time, it was a concept, uh, you know, the brainchild of a couple of people in the College of Engineering. Uh, it became an official center in 1991, and that's when I was just beginning my career as an assistant professor. Giorgio Rizzoni came from Italy to the United States in the 1980s and earned three degrees in electrical and computer engineering. As a member of the Ohio State faculty, he became increasingly involved in the automotive engineering program. He was named director of the Center for Automotive Research in 1999. It has flourished under his direction. The center is well known for a series of student-designed and built electric race cars known as the Buckeye Bullet. They have set and still hold numerous U.S. and world land speed records. Students hope that a fourth generation of the vehicle will set a new record in excess of 400 miles an hour in the summer of 2013. <music> Professor Rizzoni believes two things are necessary for achievements like these. Now, how do you do these crazy things? You need to have students who have a passion, who are dedicated to doing things that are just uncommon, unusual, completely off the beaten path. But you also need to have an environment in which all of this is possible. Professor Rizzoni has also worked to create an environment that is attracting more women to mechanical engineering and the field of automotives. What we have done here at the Center for Automotive Research, and broadly speaking in the College of Engineering, has been to create programs that attract young women and make them uh, excited about the prospects of an engineering career. Two such women are Catherine Bovey and Amanda Hyde. They are team leaders in the EcoCar 2 program, sponsored by the Department of Energy and General Motors. Its goal is to find ways to reduce the environmental impact of automotive vehicles. When I first came here to Ohio State, I actually didn't like vehicles at all. Um, if you would have asked me what I was going to do with my engineering degree in high school, I would have told you anything but the automotive field. And so obviously, I've become team leader of EcoCar now, and I've kind of been involved with automotive stuff for almost four years. Um, so my attitude has obviously changed. I ended up choosing Ohio State because there are opportunities available here that just aren't anywhere else. Uh, namely, the Center for Automotive Research right here is an incredible facility and an incredible research program, the likes of which just weren't accessible to me anywhere else. Ohio State Center for Automotive Research, providing a unique experience for students and a rewarding one for Giorgio Rizzoni. The simple truth is that but for Ohio State, I would not have been able to be a part of the growth of something that in 20 years has gone from nothing to what could possibly be the most distinguished, best uh, automotive research center in the country.